Yeah, if you are just joining us for the grand finals, it will be Bayern München versus Bayern München, and we've seen plenty of early goals today. Uh, Ostrobuch representing Poland, a name you might recognise if you follow competitive pairs. Uh, represented Manchester United in the previous season of the eFootball Pro League. Has uh, really turned heads in previous years. And then, of course, on, on the other side, Vipik, who has been grinding out results all day long, as I mentioned before. Maybe a bit of a surprise package. Yeah. And uh, represents uh, Zenit St. Petersburg over in Russia. So, uh, very, very solid candidate. And uh, it set up this grand final nicely. It's, it's experience versus inexperience. It's the, the youth versus the veteran. Yeah, definitely. Ostrobuch right now, of course, on the left side of the pitch in the white shirt. And look at what he does right there. He does what he does best. He's practiced it time and time again. And now he whips it out on the grandest of stages when it matters most, even with the pressure on him. Ostrobuch, of course, uh, having won against Vipik 4-0 in the group stage. That was a blowout. But since then, we've seen Vipik really pick himself up and put put up spectacular performances. I'm pretty sure Vipik is going to be able to get back into this, but he's he's going to have to take care that he's not letting too much in on uh, on the other end of the match, or yeah. the, of the pitch. Yeah, yeah. spectacular performances, but also uh, really professional ones as well. You think about in the in the semi-final to best, Orel, who we just saw finish uh, third. He was in free goal-scoring form uh, before unbeaten the, the grand finals. That. Unbeaten up until that point, as you say. And, and yeah. Vipik sticks four past him while uh, while Ereld was uh, chasing the match. So yeah. uh, certainly not outside the realms of possibility that Vipik can come back from a, a measly 1-0 deficit. So uh, yeah. plenty more goals to come, no doubt. We'll have wow. to see who uh, who is the victor. Exactly. Well, Ostrobuch is doing exactly what we expect from him. We uh, said he could very well go all the way with Christopher Maduro Moraes gone out. Right now, he's uh, pouring pressure on his opponent. And right now, Russia is not looking too comfortable, but they are still uh, putting up these kind of moves. They are still reaching the 16-yard line of... Oh, look at that! They're doing just way more than that. Whipping one in for Lewandowski to head home. That's the equalizer right there. Russia is right back into this. Yeah, but look at that. <laughs> at the near post. Lewandowski, that's why you start him. That's why you put him on the pitch. You, you get down the line and you you know, put something in there for him to attack and he can produce that type of finish. Really well worked by Vipik in Ostrovich. He's, uh, well, he's back to square one in terms of his lead. It's completely, completely disappeared. Yeah. Exactly. The lead has disappeared, but Ostrobuch has not. Not just yet. Although Vipik right now looking to pour more pressure on him. Look at that. The confidence is growing with each match he wins. And look at that. He's instantly ahead of his opponent. Within five minutes, he scores two great goals. And a deserved lead, I might add, against the Polish young man. The young man who was a champion of the UK, who was champion of Poland. And we are expecting uh, many, many great things from him. But right now, expect many great things from Ivan Zaradenko or Vypik, the man from Russia. A player without boundaries today. A player without limits, it seems simply a superstar on a digital pitch he knows the stage can always be his if only he brings his a game right now ostribuch needs to bring his a game to grab back that stage light because it's all shining on russia right now poland on the back foot trying to work their magic but ostribuch right now has nothing working for him lofted ball over the top great work by russia tries to head and clear with alaba ostribuch but he doesn't get it away from the danger zone russia does relinquish possession and right now ostribuch on the break with the counter really enjoying the the uh, concisive passing and the yeah. The, the instinctive passes that we're seeing from Vipik. He's not hesitating on any of these. He's not waiting to pull the trigger. He's, he's taking the exact right amount of touches and, and the passes are, are fairly accurate, accurate as well. Yes, Ostrovich is doing a good job defending them, but here's another one. Oh. He's just splitting it down the middle. Oh my God, what a peach of a pass. Diamond through ball and he makes it count as well. 3-1 suddenly up for Vipik in a match against the man who was number one in his group who managed to go up 4-0 against him earlier today right now it's all looking like Russia I'm loving this grand final so far we've seen glimpses of greatness from both these guys worthy of a grand final but right now Russia clearly having the upper hand in between
between the paths once again. Once again, pouring pressure on the young man, Ostri Butch. You have to wonder, what does that do to the mental state of a young man of only 17 years old in a grand final? Well, we're about to find out the answer. Look at that. Trying a through ball once again for Russia. It's Vipik. This time doesn't connect, and Ostri Butch is in between, but uh, has a bit of luck collecting that loose ball. He's Guys. struggling, He's struggling, struggling to, uh, yeah. to he unlock the door here, Ostrovich. Does finally get side of goal again. Doesn't unleash a shot, although it was close. Well defended by Russia. Vipik does not keep possession, though. He reaches the halfway line, and that's where it ends. So right now, Ostrovich is starting to look better and better as this first half proceeds. But we're already near injury time. Yeah, half time rapidly approaching. Chance maybe for one last chance for Ostrovich. Oof. So close. Would have been a great moment to score one. It's going to remain 3-1. Yeah. Uh, we're so used to seeing him unlock the defence with a key. It seems like yeah. he's trying to knock the entire door down in terms of just forcing passes down the down the throat of uh, Vipik's defence here. And it's not really working out for him. And I'm not sure if it's Vipik's formation, whether or not it's his defensive tactics, but... It's something that the young Pole is uh, is struggling to figure out here. Definitely, yeah. Ostrich, he is the man that has it all to do right now, and he's trying definitely. Help me out here, Harry. Who was uh, playing the red shirts? It was Ostrich, right? We've seen him come out with uh, with different it colors <laughs> every time, and it's it's starting to it's get us confused here. I think in, in the red. The red. Yeah, and Ostrovich in the white. So the names were switched. I was kind of downing that. There we go. You should always instantly trust your graphic crew. If I pick in the red. 3-1 up. And he's looking solid to take it all. To take the gold medal at the International Esports Federation Past European Championship. And the number one seed for the World Finals in Eilat, Israel. We've seen the videos, we've talked about it. Ooh, great shot outside of the post and out. Small glimpse of a chance for Ostrobuch. It was a shot from distance. But yeah, almost a half chance. We're, we're so used to seeing him there have the, the time and the patience uh, to pick out that extra pass to get even closer to the goal and, yeah. and potentially get an even better chance out of it. But uh, yeah, I think maybe he sensed the press coming in from, uh, from Vipik and yeah. There might be another chance here, but it will be left for Manuel Neuer. And now we're approaching the 60th minute, Rene. It's about that golden sort of time table of the game where you make those changes and yeah. and then you, you sit back and, and wait and see if they've made the difference that you hope they might. Definitely, yeah. Especially Ostrobuch. He's going to have to change something. Uh, he's travelling to Islet, of course. Beautiful city and great food there as well. Mm. I haven't even talked about that yet. But right now... You're going to want to grab that number one seed in order to avoid the likes of uh, Guifera potentially coming out for Brazil. Someone like that. It's definitely going to be a strong uh, strong contender, Henry Quinho, in those regions as well. Or is it going to be an Argentine once again? Someone like uh, Lautaris could very well be. Right now, however, Ostrich on the ball still has everything to play for. 25 digital minutes. Bit of injury time added as well. And he's starting to look promising again. He's, he's got a bit of that confidence back. Even though the pressure of the timer seems to be weighing on him. Some of his passes seem telegraphed and, uh, and hurried. Rushed. Although right now it's starting to look solid. That's very well played. Very patient as well. And then he's unlucky not to be able to convert. Good defending by Russia. It is really good defending. And, and one of the reasons that we are seeing... Ostrovich struggled to break uh, Vipik down here is because of how condensed it is in, in that back line. You can see uh, at times it almost dropped back into a, a back five with two midfielders sat in front and they're so just compounding that middle of the pitch where Ostrovich likes to play and do those little one-twos that he's having to feed off scraps here, Ostrovich. There's a chance though for Goretzka to pull one back but again the defence is there straight away and with only 15 minutes or so left in this uh, second half, Ostrovich yeah. needs to get a goal himself pretty soon. Definitely, yeah. And he's looking for it. You can't say that he's not. You can't say that he's given up on this game. He's still in it. He 
he still got his head held high, but uh, Alaba is uh, cancelling the offside there for Thomas Muller. He's going to be able to connect, play in Robert Lewandowski, who's going to try and lay it off for the German. Not going to be able to convert. Polish striker on the field for both these guys. Of course, the young man coming out for Poland would love to score a few more with Lewandowski. He's going to need at least two to force the overtime. He's going to need three to win it all, unless he wants to do it through a penalty series. Pretty sure right now he would be dreaming of a penalty series. A 3-1 down in the 82nd minute of the match. That's the stuff of nightmares. This is what he was hoping for, that grand final spot to fight for the gold medal. His first international tournament win. It was all on the line right here for Ostrich, but now it's Ivan Zaradenko's for the taking. It's all Vipik, the man from Russia, with his debut performance at 34 years of age, and he's showing himself worthy of the spot at this tournament and at the world finals as well. And he's putting Ostrich to the sword without regrets. Yep. It's the, the old saying I know our, our American friends like to say, uh, de defense wins championships. And it's uh, proving once again here for to be true for Vipik. His defense so far has been wonderful. Yes, there's a, a gap there, but who else but Schuler is across. He's uh, obviously been placed there to, to cut out that exact kind of danger. And uh, that, the compactness and the... the the amount of bodies in the middle of the pitch has made it so difficult for Ostrich this entire game. Oh, yeah. And, uh, well, I think we are about to crown our winner. Definitely, yeah. Ostrich has at times these past few years made the insane become the predictable. But today it's not to be. Not in the grand finals as Russia is clearly the better team on the day. Vipik, at the very least in the grand finals, has dominated proceedings, has scored a bunch of goals. Right now, Ostrich off the crossbar. That's uh, not working for him as well. Then it's surely going to end with a victory for Russia.